Everything you think you know about dinosaur sounds is wrong. Dead wrong. Those iconic roars from Jurassic Park that have defined how we imagine these ancient giants? Complete fiction. The terrifying bellows of T-Rex, the aggressive snarls of velociraptors. Hollywood made it all up. But here's what's incredible. The real sounds dinosaurs made were far more mysterious and fascinating than any movie roar. Scientists have been quietly uncovering the truth using fossilized evidence, cutting-edge technology, and evolutionary detective work. What they've discovered will completely shatter your expectations and reveal a prehistoric world filled with sounds beyond your wildest imagination. Ready for the shocking reality? For over 30 years, Hollywood has been feeding us complete nonsense about dinosaur sounds. Every single movie from Jurassic Park to modern blockbusters shows these magnificent creatures opening their jaws wide to release terrifying roars borrowed straight from lions and tigers. But think about this for a second. When was the last time you saw a predator announce its dinner plans to the entire neighborhood? The truth is, filmmakers took the lazy route. They grabbed scary sounds from modern animals because they knew it would make audiences jump out of their seats. Lions roaring, elephants trumpeting, whales calling. They mixed it all together into this completely fictional dinosaur soundtrack. But actual scientists were busy doing the real detective work studying fossilized skulls and comparing them to living relatives. What they discovered was mind-blowing. Dinosaurs had completely different anatomy than modern mammals. Their sound-producing structures were built nothing like what we see today. While Hollywood was busy making monster movie sounds, researchers were uncovering evidence of sophisticated communication systems that would make modern animals jealous. The movie industry created this image of dinosaurs as mindless, roaring beasts, but the fossil evidence tells a completely different story. These weren't simple creatures making crude noises. They were complex animals with intricate ways of talking to each other. And once you hear what they actually sounded like, you'll never think of dinosaurs the same way again. The real sounds were far more alien and fascinating than anything Hollywood dreamed up. Let me introduce you to one of the most bizarre creatures that ever walked the earth, Parasaurolophus. This dinosaur looked like someone stuck a three-foot-long trumpet on the back of its head. And that's essentially exactly what nature did. But this wasn't some random evolutionary accident. It was a sophisticated musical instrument. When paleontologists discovered a nearly complete skull in New Mexico, they didn't just put it in a museum case. They got creative. Using medical CT scanners, they took hundreds of detailed pictures of the inside of that crest, revealing something incredible a complex maze of hollow tubes stretching nearly 10 feet in total length. These tubes twisted and turned like the inside of a French horn. But here's where it gets really cool. Computer scientists took those scans and brought this ancient instrument back to life digitally. They simulated what would happen if you blew air through those 66 million year old tubes. The result was absolutely haunting a deep, otherworldly call that one researcher described as sending chills down his spine. Picture walking through a dense Cretaceous forest and hearing this sound echoing through the trees. It wasn't a sharp roar or aggressive bark. It was more like a prehistoric foghorn, a deep resonant call that could travel for miles. Different species of these crested dinosaurs would have had their own unique frequencies, creating an ancient symphony of calls across the landscape. These weren't just animals. They were living, breathing musical instruments. Here's the revelation that completely changes everything we thought about dinosaur communication. They probably kept their mouths shut when making sounds. I know, it sounds crazy after decades of watching them roar on screen, but stick with me because this discovery is fascinating. Scientists found this out by studying an amazing fossil from Antarctica, a 66 million year old bird that still had its voice box preserved in stone. This was huge because it proved that sound-making organs can actually fossilize. So if these delicate structures can survive millions of years, where are all the dinosaur voice boxes? The answer is simple. Most dinosaurs didn't have them. Instead, they used a technique called closed mouth vocalization, exactly like doves cooing or ostriches booming today. They inflated their throats and neck tissues to create vibrations without opening their mouths at all. Think about a crocodile's mating call, that deep rumble that makes the water around them literally dance. 
That's closed mouth vocalization in action. This method was actually genius for survival. Open mouth roaring advertises your location to every competitor and alerts your prey that you're coming. Closed mouth calls are sneaky and efficient. They can travel incredible distances through dense forests while keeping the caller hidden. It's like having a prehistoric walkie-talkie system. So instead of the aggressive roaring we see in movies, dinosaurs were probably having sophisticated conversations through subtle throat inflations and deep resonant hums. It's a far more intelligent communication system than Hollywood ever imagined. The most massive dinosaurs produced sounds so deep they were completely beyond human hearing, but you definitely know they were there. Giants like Diplodocus and Supersaurus, creatures literally the size of multiple elephants stacked together, communicated using what scientists call infrasound, frequencies so low they're felt rather than heard. Modern elephants already do this, sending calls across six miles of dense jungle using sounds below our hearing range. But dinosaur infrasound would have been on a completely different scale. When a herd of massive sauropods decided to have a conversation, the entire forest would have known about it. Imagine standing in an ancient landscape when these giants started communicating. You wouldn't hear traditional sounds, but you'd feel something incredible happening. The air itself would vibrate around you, your chest would rumble with each call, and the ground might even tremble slightly under your feet. It would be like being inside a massive subwoofer, experiencing sound as a physical force rather than just audio. There's even stranger evidence suggesting some long-necked dinosaurs might have had delayed vocal responses. The nerve signals from their tiny brains had to travel down necks stretching nearly 100 feet, creating a lag between thought and sound. Their calls might have seemed weirdly disconnected from their movements, adding to the alien nature of their communication. These weren't just big animals making loud noises. They were creating an entirely different acoustic reality, a prehistoric soundscape that would have been completely otherworldly to modern ears. So next time you watch Jurassic Park, remember, you're hearing pure Hollywood fantasy, not actual dinosaurs. The real prehistoric world was filled with haunting foghorn calls, mysterious closed mouth communications, chirping nurseries, and infrasonic rumbles that would shake your bones. It's way cooler than simple roaring ever could be. If this completely changed how you think about dinosaurs, hit that subscribe button for more myth-busting paleontology content that reveals the incredible truth behind ancient life. Drop a comment below and tell me, which dinosaur sound would you most want to experience in person? Let's keep digging into these prehistoric mysteries together.